tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city. And she ain't foreign and she boring. Love the way you twerk it, shawty. Throwing money on her own, I call it independent, shawty. Hit the scene and go retarded. All my people looking flawless now. I got those sneakers. What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit, and we are here on Torque Drift. After the big update release, we have, if you noticed in the other video, a new pro car, Charles Kakai NG's 180SX. So, after my video was posted, they did actually update the uh, game a little bit to where make this car is available to get. I believe it is 4.99 US or something like that. So today we are going to get take this to its paces see if it's worth it and see if this car can hang it is an 800 horsepower d1 grand prix car definitely a sweet looking car with all the uh names on there and all the sponsors in the carbon fiber uh headlights and uh carbon fiber door so it's definitely a very amazing car so we're gonna see if it can hang here on torque drift so we're gonna go just hop right into it and uh Give this car a little shakedown. Looks like we got bridge, long line, and hill climb. Not sure how it's gonna do in the hill climb, but, but I guess we will give it a shot there. But first, we will head to the bridge first. So, we are getting a lot of new uh, pro cars. This car being 800 horsepower on Toyo R88R drift tires. Um, it's actually a uh, pretty, pretty stable car. Um, with it being 800 horsepower, it is able to compete in the higher ones that are for 800 horsepower. It looks like we're going to go against a 1,059 horsepower Miata. So we can see how this car can hang. It definitely sounds uh, pretty amazing. It does like fourth gear. So it is kind of cool to see the 180SX in the game. It is cool that it is a D1 Grand Prix car, so it's not just an FD car. Well, I guess you would consider D1 Japan's FD. FD and I totally messed up this run but it is cool that we are getting a D1 car in the game and uh, it just goes to show that this game is very diverse when it comes to being from all around the world they have things from all around the world as well as players from all around the world it is truly an international game international fair we uh, messed up our line so that's probably where we lost that 8,000 points so we're gonna give this guy a chase and see what we can do but first impressions of this car being it it's 800 horsepower it's pretty uh pretty decent power band it's not something overpowering it's not something that's underpowered and does not have the power to uh hang with the cars as you can see it definitely uh has the ability to hang with this thousand horsepower miata so i like how the car feels it feels very nice and very flowy like i said i believe it was five or 4.99 or something like that us to buy it um and as of right now first impressions on the car it's definitely worth it we barely just ever so barely lost that one let's see if we can get a rematch against him we may not be allowed to get a rematch but we were right on his door looks like a daiyushi Miata paint scheme so is he going to give us a chance? It does not look like he's going to give us a chance to rerun him. It makes it sad when I'm just barely off somebody and they don't give me a chance to rerun him. Nope, there he goes. He left. So unfortunately he did not want to... Oh, I hit the chat, chat button. As you can see, the game will freeze on the chat. Get wrecked. So we have reloaded our game because of the uh, little glitch. So we're here at the long line. Like I said, this car, um, I feel is definitely worth it. It's, you know, with it being a good basic power car and it being a, a 180SX, it's kind of a, it's kind of cool. It has a flip ups in the game. Um, wish you could flip up the headlights. That'd be sweet. Or, uh, you know, there was tracks where the headlights were on. Maybe a dusk track would be a good thing. And he didn't want to go against us. He said, nope, he doesn't want, he doesn't want to go, he's, oh, all right, so now we got FD versus D1 Grand Prix here on long line, so 
So we're definitely going to uh, have our work cut out for us going against Mad Mike with that MX-5. Gonna kick this in. Try and run as close as we can to there. So the car is very stable, but it does snap really quick. If you notice right there, I snapped it too soon and I was not able to get out to where I needed to get onto the line. I did not modify this from what I bought it for. So it is basically the base tune where you, you can modify tire pressures and downforce and stuff like that, but I left it how it was. So it looks like we're gonna be able to have a good chase on Mad Mike Widette's MX-5. So this is almost a perfect, uh, perfect trial of this car to see you know, how it hangs and if it is worth it. And so far I say it's definitely worth the buy because it is an amazing looking car and well, it just sounds sick and oh, too much of a tap. And I am having a lot of fun with it. It's not an overpowering car, so you can run against lower power cars, unlike some of the other FD cars that are stupidly overpowered. Not really stupidly, they are highly powered cars. Japan cars are a lot lower power when it comes to in the D1 Grand Prix. They're not as high built as uh, FD cars because they do run more technical tracks, I guess you would say, than high speed flowy tracks. We are gonna take that win and uh, we're gonna continue our uh, winning streaks with money and continue getting our sponsorship bonuses right there. A little extra money in our pocket. So we're gonna go to hill climb. Not sure how this car is gonna tackle the hill climb section, but we're gonna give it a shot. So definitely a very, very stable, very nice car. Um, those Toyo tires grip pretty well when you need them to and they uh, lose grip when you need them to as well. Um, these cars, like you all know, are not allowed to be modified in really any way. There's some setting tunings you can do, but this one is just pretty much tire pressure and uh, braking pressure as well as downforce. That's the only really adjustments with this car. So if you're looking to buy it, just letting you guys know that's what adjustments are allowed on this car. Um, but it is a very nice car. I'm having a lot of fun in it. It looks sick and uh, it's, a, uh, it's a very good buy for the uh, cost that they have it set at. So they did fix it so you will be able to get it now because before it showed zero and uh, when you tried to get it it was uh, just spinning at the accessing store because the car was not meant to be put up for that so it was not able to be bought. I know a lot of people were commenting, how come I can't get the, the 180SX from the store? Well, that's why. <laughs> a little glitch. It has been fixed, and it is available to be got now. So it did pretty well until we depth the wall going up in this hill climb. Definitely not going to be a 100,000-point run, but a 76,000-point run is okay. And uh, he got a 35. So as you can see, it's a very versatile car. Slow speed, high speed. It's very nice, very stable. We definitely, uh, if you're looking to pick up one car, uh, I could, I would recommend picking up this car as well, because uh, I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun in it, and I can see a lot of really close tandems to be had by this car. Definitely gonna bring this car out on the next live stream as well. I'm trying to figure out what line he's gonna run and find the best course of action to get more tandem points, but. Could not figure the best course of action line with that one. So, the Charles NG 180SX, definitely a very awesome car. And uh, as it, I'm doing it, do, doing the due diligence, doing it justice right now, and we're doing uh, we're doing pretty good in the uh, in the tandem aspect of it for today. So I feel like we're gonna try and go, we're gonna do a practice run at say uh, Cali Banks. Probably my favorite track of all that they have in the game so far. Looking for more tracks to come here in the near future. So I know a lot of people probably didn't mess with these uh, other uh, layouts. So we're gonna mess with a couple of the layouts, the infinity layout with this uh, 180SX. I should have shifted, but I didn't. And we're gonna see if we can't have a good lead and chase on ourselves. Uh, I was not sure where this track was, go where this was going to be going. 
Oh, this is a pretty cool layout, actually. Oh, don't hit the wall. Oh my, this is a very, uh, very, very nice wall ride section on that track. That's a pretty cool layout. I hope we can see that in actual tandem battles, because uh, that is actually a sweet layout. They wouldn't have it in here otherwise if it wasn't going to be in there. Why am I facing the wrong way? Oh, and that just glitched me the wrong way. Why was I facing the wrong way? Well, now, now I'm way behind myself, and I wanted to try and get doors with my own ghost. Well, it's not really a ghost, with my own lead. So we'll find ourselves back on track from facing the wrong way. And just bash ourselves into ourselves. So we were facing the wrong way. We're going to try and hit retry again and maybe see if we're going to be facing the right way. Because I am not sure why we were facing the wrong way. Is it going to do it to us again? It is. So, unfortunately, that's not going to work for us because we were facing the wrong way. Um, I think that's a little bit of a bug. So, this car, definitely a lot of fun. I think we're going to head back to, say, uh, head back to the hill climb, run one or two more runs in this car to end this episode off. I hope you guys are having a good weekend so far with a Turks Drift dropping this update for the weekend. I know so many people are playing it right now and using the advantage on that Drift Miss, um, Drift Miss sponsorship points and just tearing through these game to uh, get as much money as they can to build up the new cars. If we can find an opponent, it would be great. I'm gonna try that again. Nope, I don't wanna go into the hub. Wrong button, wreck myself. So, you guys know follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. Do appreciate all the support and all you guys coming back to the channel. Definitely appreciate all the comments and all the likes on the videos. So if you aren't a subscriber, tap that subscribe button. And I think uh, if you don't like this button, well, maybe the car won't be able to be bought for you. Just kidding. <laughs> that, that That's not real. But it was kind of funny. All right, so we're going to try and run this again and try and get a very good lead run we're gonna try and run as much of the walls as we can to get as many points as we can still trying to get that hundred thousand point lead run on hill climb it's been eluding me thus far this is a very uh, back and forth run and that's not what I wanted to do that was a very back and forth shaky run I was not on the right line to start off with, so that just made that run so much worse. I was hoping we had the slab or something to run so that we could like do some nice tandems with this car, but we don't really have uh, a really close door-to-door -door place we can get. I mean, I can get door-to-door -door here, um, but because this car is a, uh, a lower-level car, I feel that competition that I'm going against is newer to the game and are still trying to figure it out so definitely gonna want to be bringing this so oh my I can't go this way we're gonna have to back up do I have reverse there we go no reverse oh this was just a botched run for sure so uh, this just goes to show anything can happen in the game welcome to torque drift <laughs> So, I think we're going to get one more run here on the hill climb before we end this little episode off for the update on the car. And, uh, that was a nice run, but I wasn't getting points for that. So, my impressions on the 180SX, definitely an awesome car and a very amazing car to drive. Good power band, good handling band, definitely going to be using this car a lot. It looks sick. So, I would definitely, if you're looking to buy some, uh, Looking to buy some of the pro cars, this car would probably be a car I would definitely pick up um, and, you know, just shred it, you know, have fun with it and just, uh, you know, try and get as close doors as you can. So we've got another competitor here. So we're going to try to make it a little bit smoother of a run going uphill today to finish this episode off. Like I said, you guys know to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, which are found in the description box below. And I appreciate you guys coming back. Like I said, I try and stay very active in the comment section down below. If you guys have any 
suggestions of things you would like to see in Torque Drift, as always, comment it down below, and I will see if I can uh, maybe highlight that or mention that to the game dev. Ow. And uh, maybe some stuff will come in, because if you guys realize, I made that video about what I would like to see right before the update dropped, and a lot of things I was talking about were already in the update. Torque Drift has told me that they, a lot of the things I was mentioning they are already working on. So it's definitely a good thing to hear that the game is going to continue to increase as the time goes. We are definitely going to probably lose this battle because uh, that was a very bad lead run. Hill climb, very hard track to run, but uh, it's a fun track nonetheless. But we have a pretty smooth lead run so we can somewhat suck on his door and get a mildly decent chase. So I think that's gonna do it here for this episode here on Torque Drift. So if you guys like what you wanna see more, don't forget to tap the like button, subscribe to the channel, I do appreciate all the support. And as always, I would like to thank you guys for watching. I think I'm gonna watch this. I'm Evil Rabbit, I'm out.